We're with Shawnee State head coach Jeff Nickel following their fourth straight Mid-South Conference Women's Basketball Championship. And coach, after Shawnee State never having a MSC tournament championship in program history, now winning four straight, how does it feel? Well, you know, we got in the league around 2011 and I was able to come in and, and take over Coach Smith with a, with a great program, predominantly in NAI too. And, you know, this is a tough league. Um, I had a great mentor, Coach Smith, and we still run our program, you know, through standards and that, that class and that sportsmanship. And we have always done that, and we always will do that. And this is a great basketball game out here today. you got to give Campbellsville a lot of credit. Coach Carl runs a great program. She's a great coach. Her kids are very classy, and it's just a hard-fought game. But to get four straight uh, in this league means a lot. And it was a dog fight today, and it seemed like every time Campbellsville went on a run, you answered with a three. How rare was it to answer with three pointers? And did you like that? <laughs> well, I, I liked it if we'd have won by a lot more. Obviously, I've been a little less stressful. Uh, but you know, it was a it was a great game, and that's a testament to them. They got down. Uh, you know, their their bunch got down by about ten. They didn't quit. They just fought right back. Um, got to even and took a lead. And then you know, Ashton and, and Hannah were able to answer some really big shots and. We got some really key stops down the stretch, and I'm really proud of my kids. Um, you know, to have a lot of the pressure of being ranked number one, and and to come out of nowhere, all the adversity we went through at the beginning of the year. You know, uh, losing one of our best players. Uh, you know, the Ashley going down and, and hurting her ankle, and being gone for a month. And we had a lot of the odds stacked up against us, and I don't think a lot of people really would have thought we would have been a uh, uh, a team that could win the Mid South and win the tournament back in November, but. You know, we were able to go down to Jackson, play in the Rotary, and we were able to get some wins down there, get some really good teams. And we started gelling, and we just kept playing well, playing well. And our younger guys have came along, and, and this is a really special group. Now heading into the national tournament, you'll probably be the number one seed overall, have the longest winning streak in the NAIA. How do you feel heading into the tournament? You know, all that stuff is great. It's just, it's just a byproduct of what we do every day, uh, what we expect out of our kids. Uh, it's just not a monthly thing, it's not a weekly thing, it's not during the season. It's all we expect out of them all season long. And you know, I'm really proud of our kids. Uh, the streak's nice, but the streak's a byproduct. The streak's a byproduct of doing things well. It's not something we talk about. We don't talk about being ranked number one. Uh, number one was a goal that we thought we could get when we were ranked around third or fourth. And we thought if we were just able to grind it out, that would be something to happen. But you know, we were more concentrated on winning the league. So all this other stuff's a byproduct. And uh, you know, we're really happy with this championship, and uh, you know, we're really proud to represent Mid-South Conference, which is just an outstanding conference.